a historic cinema failure. That is what we were watching with the live action, should we say that? No, the CGI remake. The strange, weird, weird CGI remake of Snow White starring Rachel Zegler. The trailer now reaching historic dislike levels for a movie that might be one of the most expensive ever made. We're here to tell you folks why this might be the greatest Disney disaster we have ever seen coming to a theater near you. Hello folks, welcome back to the Pro Channel. We are so happy that you have elected to join us An Attitude of Gratitude every single time we have the chance to spend time on your speakers and in your day. What a time it is to share. Folks, today we're going to share with you exactly what is going on with Rachel Zegler with Snow White and why Disney should be shaking in their little mouse boots because the audience has absolutely given every indication that this is not the kind of thing to release, not for a second. This is devastation to Disney. And we'll explain with a panel who understands it top to bottom. Don't miss out. You can explain it to your friends and family here in just a moment because you hung out with us. I tell you. So let's, uh, let's continue right down the Primrose path. And uh, what do we have here, folks? Well, it is Disney's Snow White, the uh, not live action remake, the CGI catastrophe that it is. It's like a reverse of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, the question here is, who framed whoever made this? Uh, 63,000 likes now on this thing, 438,000 dislikes. Oh. I suspect this is going to arrive at a 10 to 1 dislike to like ratio in the coming days. Uh, 6 million views. <laughs> this is a film that is dead on arrival, and it deserves to be. I could go through the list of ways this is wrong, but again, this is right back to the destruction of Disney. This is adapting the original film, the first animated feature-length film, and the one that Walt did. It's a historical thing, and they have desecrated it in ways that are just unimaginably bad. Um, also, I know that uh, Disney is not allowing YouTube channels to play this hardly anymore, so we will not play it for you. I think that's probably mercy for all of you out there, so uh, <laughs> you're welcome for that. Um, but yeah, this, this thing is absolutely horrible. Uh, panel? This movie cost like half a billion dollars to make after all the reshoots. Uh, the prince made it in. Congratulations. It's just too bad she's got uh, Farquaad hair to rock with him. He's going to have well, yeah. and, let, and let me tell you this. And let me tell you this. If you've never been terrified before, take a look at that deer with those bug eyes in the dark. Look at that nonsense. Bug eyed deer coming at you. This oh, is, this he, is I, garbage. I thought it was the gingerbread man. I thought he was. I thought she was questioning him. Could be. Could be. I think that'll happen in Shrek. Uh, Gal Gadot is, I'm sorry, she is a more attractive person, and so it makes no sense that she's worried about this. Just flat <laughs> out. And the dwarves, they look like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog monstrosities uh, with, you know, Alfred E. Newman dancing around her. None of this looks real. I don't think this was ever intended. I'd have no idea why they're still releasing it. Panel, I can't say much more that's bad about this film. The uh, dislike show it all. So what say you? I would point <laughs> out. <laughs> That this is the best footage they had on short notice. Imagine the stuff. I mean, yeah, they put they just, this together they just for started D3 off on it. <laughs> and this was, let's show them our very best to get them excited, except we'll find them if they try and show it again. Uh, it, is, is that a tidy bowl commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Look, wow. uh, from from what I understand, Lou might actually be correct because the footage that they showed at D23, this entertainment showcase where they debuted Bug this God trailer dear. at, uh, was even worse. Apparently, they played the whole whistle while you work sequence with those I've singing, dancing bad. dwarfs, and it's it bad. did not go well <laughs> yeah. at all. It's it was bad. very creepy. Even Ash, people, have you seen it yet? Uh, I I have seen that footage. Oh. Yes, I was able oh. to, uh, to 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 oh, to it's bad. my lock my peepers on it before uh before well disney locked it down but i'll tell you this for a for an audience predisposed to disney and you know obviously made up of its biggest fans a lot of people said oh i liked everything in there uh, but snow white now folks this is uh, i mean upwards of 400 million dollars for as much as we might be uh getting at the at the parks panel well, and really replacing things that we love wow. uh, we could have gotten so much more had they not spent Four hundred million dollars on this film. Again, so this far. is Disney just so throwing far. money. 
So far. Oh, yeah. So far. Yeah. They still have and to promote survived. it. They still have to literally make prints, for God's sakes. And it's not uh, Disney's I, Snow White. I, I, it's just know. Disney's Snow White. Jonas, Yeah. it's a half billion dollar budget now. And the reason I say that is because prior to the final reshoots, it was already up at 300. I believe 331 was the number that we had. Uh, that came out of SFF Gazette, maybe. Apologies if I'm getting that wrong, folks. But um, I believe it's somewhere at 331 before the, the, the latest reshoots. You add in with that the marketing costs. This is a half billion dollar movie. Jonas, here's what I'm curious about. You tell me if I'm wrong. This movie, with its cost, and with this level of dislike, this could wipe out the profits entirely of Deadpool and Wolverine all on its own. Is, is that right? It, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because yep. Deadpool yep. right now it's at it's at one billion, which is is great for a rated R film. It is uh, it's really great uh, compared to what they've been making over the last few years, especially with Marvel stuff. Remember how Guardians of the Galaxy was considered their bona fide hit with eight hundred million in uh, in revenue and now deadpool is getting up to that one billion range and and there are and guardians may have just barely broke even off it. right right and, and and they probably spent more on on deadpool than they did on guardians of the galaxy volume three because james gunn is an efficient filmmaker and i'm pretty sure that sean levy and ryan reynolds they had a lot of covid uh, start and stop a lot of reshoots to make sure that thing was as successful as possible they would have gotten license from Bob Iger to do more with that film because it's more important that that film make money than it uh, that sorry that it looks like it made money than it actually uh, made money. And with Snow White, this is going to be paint by number stuff. This is supposed to be a brand deposit. Um, this is very easily four hundred million if they decide to market it the way they should market what should be a good film. Again, these are a lot of shoulds that are probably not going to happen this should be the legacy of the company being reaffirmed after 100 years sorry this is more like 80 for snow white itself this should be a movie that is a big deal that reassures audiences that disney can stand the test of time and instead it looks like it's going to be paint by numbers uh nothing that you might as well just go watch the previous one in a few but, years, there will be an AI generator that can literally take the original film and just make it live action, and that will be more entertaining than whatever this is. Sorry, Lou, I, I can tell you wanted to say something there. Well, two two things. One, when you quote those numbers, don't forget that all the numbers we get on production, like the stuff from England on some of these movies, they don't include the above-the-line people. And if you think that Gal Gadot has an agent who didn't write into the deal knowing it was Disney and what happens. Hey, if you call her back, you're going to pay her some more than what you already paid her so much a day, so much a week, so much of whatever. Uh, the above the line stuff is going to go way over on this thing too. But secondly, when Walt made the decision to bank his company on this original animated movie, everybody in the biz said, you're not going to get animated characters to have the same emotional resonance with an audience. The people are not going to cry. They're not going to laugh with cartoons. And they did. If this was the movie, then that would have been the end of the whole feature animation thing because they would have been right from what I've seen. And folks, we're not here to get into this, this conversation. So we're not going to have the conversation, um, but I'm not going to shy away from showing it to you. Disney on the horizon, and we may cover this in the days ahead. We'll just do it in a very careful manner. Uh, Disney's also set up with a really bad spot here. Oh Gal Gadot my God. having mm -hmm. served wow. uh, the second yep. one. The second one. Yeah. Yep. No, we, we can all see it. That's. Uh, oh, it's right down there at the bottom of the line. I just wanted to call everybody. That's got to be intentional, right? Like, that's got to be a shot at Gal Gadot. So. That's just, that's just her reminding everybody hey, when this movie tanks, I'm still hireable and I'm on your side. Please call me for something. <laughs> also, weddings, she's like, oh, so many oh, not bar mitzvahs, but weddings and movies. Please call me. So many views on our trailer in just 24 hours. Yeah, how, how is that going for you guys there, Rachel? Uh, I'm telling you, this girl's out for herself now because she's worried, too, that this you might can see be here, uh, Valiant, her career. 
Valiant Renegade uh, says Disney Snow White remake trailer now to seven to one dislike ratio. And uh, he's got a video out covering this. But again, folks, I think it's going to, it's going to go 10 to one negative. Um, if you want to know how bad this is for Disney, if you want to just think about this, you've got this film releasing in quarter one of next year. If this film reaches the half billion mark in terms of total cost, production and marketing, let's talk about what this is likely to make. You've got one of the most disliked trailers in the history of YouTube. Um, if history is any kind of indicator of where this might land, I'm thinking it's maybe a $200 million uh, kind of film because, and I'll tell you why, it could come out and we could see great reviews for it, which I don't think will happen, but might. The problem is it is so visually off-putting that I think it will be hard to watch. Like, I don't think kids want or families want to sit and watch those ugly blank dwarves. It's dark. It's, it's dark. dark. Yeah, it's Very muddy. Dark. It's scary. It's, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, CG dark. fest for sure. I'm, I'm going to so, point out that everyone is comparing that opening scene to a Thomas Kincaid painting. And <laughs> as much as I am not a fan of Thomas Kincaid, um, Thomas Kincaid paintings have a lot more contrast between the light and the dark. That's the whole mm -hmm. point of those. This is ruddy with a little bit of light showing, shining through in the background. It's not ruddy. It's muddy. Well, I guess it's brown instead of red. We know why, Jonas. It's to hide how bad the CGI is. You, yeah. If you have bright lighting, it, it reveals how bad your CGI is. Go to that first shot. Go to go to the first shot there where they're showing off the cabin. So if we three seconds. I, um, I, and I'm not going to try to say, I'm not going to bring up a Thomas Kincaid, uh, but, but there are blues and whites and skies that are evident in the Thomas Kincaid paintings. And by the way, it's a brand. It's not an artist. It hasn't been Thomas Kincaid for a long time. May he rest in peace. But there are actual bright colors in this. By the way, the bright blue dress that she is currently wearing is also pretty close to brown in this. So Yeah, or black. This is, this is they are wasting the color palette here with this kind of nonsense. So, 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 I, so the takeaway here though, real quick, re real quick, the, the takeaway is this is actually going to be difficult for people to watch. So if this makes, let's be kind, let's double it. Let's say it makes 400 million. The take, the take home for Disney. And I know Lou, I disagree with, I don't think it will, but as kind as we can be, the take home for Disney at that point would be 200 million. No, Think about how much this thing costs and think about Disney only bringing back 200 million. We've, we have talked about Captain Marvel and Indiana Jones having been in a tight race for the biggest flop in the history of cinema. This might blow them out of the water. Lou, your thoughts. Since we know that the computers could have made that any color they wanted it to be, this is what they wanted. Mm-hmm. This was their artistic choice for a movie was to make a dreary, spooky version of that song and to make this dark, evil, haunted house. It's like <laughs> for it's little like girls. You, it's like you asked the the guys who made uh, Five Nights at Freddy to do a remake of um, Bambi. Yeah, it's like R.L. Uh, Stein, Snow White. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And uh, this is just not going to. It looks like a Zack Snyder film, and that is the worst <laughs> insult I can hear about anything oh, in man. entertainment. Oh, That's rough. Oh, That's rough. Oh, Dark Snow. The point is, oh, and fine. you're right, this is, a conscious, no this is a conscious <laughs> choice by a major corporation Gosh. and its minions, you should pardon the expression. <laughs> and, uh, and that tells you something about the people involved in this whole operation, that that's what they chose that they actually thought that would be appealing to moms and kids and dads all across this great land of ours. Ah! And folks, we've come to the end yet again. What a good time it was, though, at least on our end. And we hope that you had a good time as well. And if you thought that it was a swell place to be and you learned quite a bit, well, consider clicking the like button. If you're one of the few who's not yet subscribed, we would love to have you join as we get ready to celebrate two years come January. Say that you were in in that beginning, because I think after two years, it's no longer the start, then you're into something else, into the, well, here we go, we're at it again. So folks, we hope you're at it again. We hope you're making the world a better place wherever you are. Drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on the way out the door. Share this out on your favorite social medias, and wherever you are, and whatever you're doing. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.